All right, you guys, uh, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, this hour, we are going to be uh, practicing our functional English, okay? The uh, situation we'll be going through is asking for help, okay? Asking for help. That's uh, uh, when we talk about functional English, we talk about certain situations that we may be in when we can use specific phrases. Okay, uh, so far we've talked about interrupting, saying, ah, excuse me, may I ask you a question, and being polite when doing so. Okay, um, and then yesterday, uh, yesterday I forget exactly what we were talking about. Um, let me uh, remind myself. Um, Making excuses, yes. So yesterday we were talking about making excuses. Okay. Uh, today is asking for help. Okay. Again, being polite when uh, when uh, doing so. Okay. Uh, very good. The uh, the link. Let's see. Let me get you the link to the class. Link to the class. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and uh, make sure, make sure that, uh, that that you're. That you're Make sure that Make you, sure. you have the, uh, the uh, verbling link uh, closed down or uh, muted. Okay, so right now, Murat, uh, you have two windows open. I can, hear, uh, I can hear myself back in your microphone. Okay, uh, make sure that, uh, that you have that muted or you actually close that window down. You can also um, uh, press pause on it so it, it won't sound. Okay, uh, that way we can reduce the sound here. Fabulous. Okay, so the link is in the Verbling chat box. Okay, I will also put it in the Google chat box. Okay, uh, go ahead and open that up when you get a second. Okay, uh, let's see who we have in class so far. Um, Alpha, welcome. Good to have you here. All right, how about uh, Buran? Now, is it Burhan right. or Burhan? <coughs> Burhan. Burhan. Okay, so I pronounced that H. Very good. Where are you from, Burhan? I'm from Turkey in Antalya. Great. Awesome. Welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, Emre, how are you? Emir? Is it uh, Emir or Emre? Emre. Okay. Oh, Emre. Excellent. Yes. Emre, where are you from? I'm from Turkey. Great. Good to have you in class. Thank you. All right. Let's see. And uh, Heba, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Great. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay. Esther, welcome back to class. Hello, teacher. Good to see you again. Thank you. All right. Francisco? Hello, Francisco. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Let's go to Man. How are yeah, you, Man? Hey, yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? Great. I'm doing awesome. Thank you. Welcome to class. Uh, Mauricio, welcome back. How are you? Fine, I'm back. I I'm again. <laughs> Great, uh, Mauricio. Where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Brazil, excellent. Now, how how would you pronounce your name in uh, in Portuguese? Is it with that R? Is it Mach Mauricio? No, Mauricio. Oh, Mauricio. Okay, I always get confused when that R is pronounced and when it isn't. Uh, anyway, very good. No, Welcome no to class. Uh, Murat, you. how are you? I'm uh, fine, teacher. What about you? I'm doing great. Welcome to class. Good to see you. you. All right. Let's uh, let's try Francisco one more time. Francisco, how are you? I don't think he can hear me. Uh, right now. Uh, ah, there you are. Hi, Francisco. Hi. 
Hi, welcome can to class. Me? Good to see you. Uh, yes, I can hear you just fine. Okay. Great. Okay, you guys. Uh, this hour we are going to be talking about functional English or situations. Okay. Uh, the situation we are talking about is asking for help. Okay. Um, the link I've placed in the chat box. Okay. Go ahead and, and open that up. When you do, this is what you'll see. Okay. I'll uh, zoom in a little bit. Okay. So, uh, asking for help. All right. Uh, what does what does help mean? What does help mean? Who who can tell me what the word help means, and and why would we ask for help? Anybody? Maybe giving a hand to another one to trying to solve his problem. Yes, good. Okay, so helping someone else out, giving a hand to someone. Okay, when someone needs needs a hand in uh, in finishing something or lifting something. Okay, uh, that would be helping. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so um, we're going to uh, talk about asking for help. Let's go through our first our first dialogue here. Okay, and I'll have Murat. Murat, I'll have you be person A. Okay. And Mauricio, I'll have you be person B. Okay. okay. Uh, go ahead and start, you guys. Would you mind lending me hand? Sure. What can I do for you? Could you open? Could you hold the door open for me? No problem. Is there anything else? Actually, there's a door downstairs. To could you get that one as well? Of course. Very good. <clears throat> okay, so uh, the first phrase: Would you mind lending me a hand? Okay, this is a great phrase, everybody. Okay, when you need help with something, you can always say that. Would you mind lending me a hand? Okay, and uh, and what it means to lend someone uh, means to let them borrow. Okay, to let them borrow, and you're not actually going to give them a hand. All right, you're going to help them. That's another way of asking for help. Would you mind lending me a hand? Great phrase, great phrase. Definitely write that one down, okay? So our, uh, our answer here, now if someone asks you for help, okay, this is one of my favorite words, sure. I love that word. I use it all the time. It means yes, okay? Would you mind lending me a hand? Sure, definitely, okay? Uh, this is a great phrase as well. What can I do for you? Okay, and this and this is asking uh, what what you need them to do. Okay, now whenever we are asking someone for help, we want to be polite because we want them to help us. Okay, um, the bad way to say this would be, "Hey, open that door for me." Okay, hey, do this. Okay, that would be that would be very rude. That would be unrespect unrespectful. Okay, or disrespectful. Sorry. Um, so uh, it, it it wouldn't be nice to say, "Hey, do this." Okay, and you bob your head. Sometimes people do that, and that's that's pretty pretty rude. We want to use words like would, could, okay, may, okay, would, could, and may. Okay. Uh, may I ask a favor I of a you? Uh, yes. What's up? Burhan, what's, uh, what's your question? Use, uh, okay, we can use shall. Uh, for example, shall I we go? Uh, shall I open the window like that? We can use it. Um, shall is a very old word. Okay. Um, instead of using shall, use should. Okay. Should I hold the door open for you? Should I hold the window? Should I grab a box? 
okay use the word should instead of shall shall is a very old word and it's not used very much anymore okay uh, very good question okay. very good okay, okay. Um, can can I help you or um, yes can I help you with something okay uh, that that's fine but we we always want to use words like would could and may I ask you a favor okay or ask a favor of you okay that's a that's a great great way to say um, would you mind lending me a hand may I ask a favor of you okay that's another phrase could you help me for a second Okay, could you help me for a second is a great, great uh, question as well. Okay, it goes along right with, would you mind lending me a hand? May I ask a favor of you? Could you help me for a second? Now, we say a second, we know it's not going to be one second long, all right? Uh, but you're trying to be respectful of the person, all right? And what you're saying is that it won't take very long. It may take five minutes, it may take 10 minutes, okay? But you're not asking them to give up their whole day, okay? Uh, could you help me for a second? That's a really great phrase as well, okay? Uh, let's go back to our dialogue here. All right, so we have sure. That's how we answer. We could say, ah, sure. What, what can I do for you? Or what do you need? Okay. Um, also, no problem. That's a great way to answer as well. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let's see here. Good. Okay. Let's uh, let's go down to uh, number two. And let's go to Mon. So I'm going to have Mon and Francisco read. Mon, I'll have you be person A. And Francisco will be person B. Okay. Is there anything I can do? I can do help. Is Francisco. There, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Francisco, and read person B. So Mon will read A, and you will read person B. Go ahead, you guys. Okay, go ahead and start, Mon. Okay, 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 okay. All right, uh, Mon, let are, me have you start over. Start. Yeah, go ahead, Mon. Yes, and I read the A. Yes. Go okay. ahead and start over. Is there anything I can do to help? Not at the moment, thank you. Really? You look so busy. Very, there is one thing you could do. Just say the word. Will you mind closing the windows? Of course not. Great. Okay, so this is when we are offering to help someone. Okay, we're offering. So at the very beginning, we are asking, asking for help. Okay, would you mind lending me a hand? Could you help me for a second? May I ask a favor of you? Okay, that is asking asking for help now we are going to offer okay so um, here Mon is offering help to Francisco and he starts off by saying is there anything I can I can do to help you or to anything I can do to help okay you can say help you at the end there okay uh, is there anything I can help you with as well is a, is another good way to say that okay uh, you okay is there anything I can help you with or do to help you 
okay if there's more than one person there you can say do to help uh, help okay very good now um, if if you do not need help this is a great way to say not to say no okay if you just say no that's being very short with someone being short means uh, uh, you're not being uh, kind and you're just you know getting to the point uh, is there anything I can I can do to help no okay that's kinda how we we treat that no oh, well fine okay <laughs> I, I won't I won't offer any more help but if you say not at the moment say okay no problem all right so not at the moment is a great way to say no okay when someone is offering help to you okay um, okay here okay busy uh, we talked a little bit uh, the other day about the word busy okay uh, remember class what does the word busy mean uh, the same yeah, is know. occupied yeah, not occupied, available. not available. <laughs> okay, so that's what busy means when we are talking about a schedule. Okay, what if someone is running over here to do this, uh, running over here to do that? They they have things going on all over the place. Okay, um, that would mean that they are busy as well. They have too much to do at the moment. Okay too much to do at the moment so we have two different meanings for the word busy okay busy yes can mean that you are occupied that you don't have time available for a certain appointment okay we talked about that when we were making excuses okay but if you are busy as well that means you are doing a lot of things at the moment okay um, so if someone walks in and they want to, uh, they they need your attention. You say, "Hey, I'm really busy right now. I can't help you." They may say, "Well, can I help you with something?" Sure. Um, uh, do this for me. That that would really help out. Okay. So if uh, busy is is has those two different meanings. Okay. They're very similar. Okay. You're you're busy uh, uh, and you can't uh, take any appointments. Okay, or you're busy at the moment doing many different things. Okay, uh, good. Let's uh, let's see. Okay, now what do you mean? Or, or sorry, what do you think? Just say the word means. Okay, just say the word. Okay, so uh, the person says there is one thing you could do. And Mon replied, just say the word. What do you think that would mean? Just say the word. Maybe if you, sorry, maybe if you need help, uh, you only have to tell the other person. Exactly. It means, please, tell me what I can do. Okay. All right? Exactly. So, so um, if, uh, if uh, Esther was saying, well, there's one thing that 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 you could do. I could res I, instead of saying uh, yes, tell me what I can do. You can say just say the word. Okay. Also, um, let's say if uh, if uh, uh, Burkhan, if he calls me one night, let's say I, I live in Turkey as well, and uh, and he he says um, I, I'm having trouble with my my car. It's not starting. Um, and I say, well, um, if you need any help, Burkhan just say the word okay that means um, I will come and help you all you have to do is tell me to do so just like okay just uh, say just the tell word me. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah just, just tell like, me uh, just tell me like that yeah exactly exactly it's a it's a great phrase to use as well okay uh, but that's that uh, that's uh, after you've uh, you've uh, offered the help Okay, and they may not need it. Okay, uh, but you can say, well, if you do need help, just say the word. Okay, and you don't need to uh, say anything further than that. Just say the word, and that's it. Okay, okay, it's a really good phrase to use. Teacher, All right, let's see here. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Does it mean uh, uh -huh. um, just say the 
word. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, ask me for help. Uh, yes, that that's what it's referring to. Just ask. Um, uh, just say the word. Just ask me for help. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, and it's and it's re, it refers to the help. It refers to the help that's needed. Um, but as many of you know, um, uh, Americans like to shorten things up. Okay. Yes. We we like to uh, uh, not say everything. Okay. And so we have the phrase "just say the word." Okay, and that implies that that it, you're saying, okay, if you need help, tell me what it is you want me to do, and I will do it. So it's it's um it's the asking, and you are promising to do whatever they ask. Okay, it's that yes. promise of them asking and that action of you doing and following through. Okay, very good comments, you guys. Nice job. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Um, we have another phrase here. Would you mind? Would you mind? What do you guys think would you mind means? Would would you mind? Okay. Uh, let's say okay. if uh, if uh, I'm over at uh, Murat's house. Okay, I'm back. The teacher Hang is on. gone. This is just deciding to kick me out whenever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's say let's say I'm over at uh, Murat's house. We're hanging out and we're watching a a, a soccer game. Okay, and uh, and he gets up. All right, and uh, he's gonna go grab a a Coca Cola. Okay, he's gonna go grab a Coca Cola, and uh, I would say, Hey, Murat, would you mind? grabbing me one too okay would you mind getting me a coca-cola as well what do you think would you mind would mean can I ask one question sure uh, this is mean is would you mind mean is like uh, can I have a cola like that um, would you mind well you're almost you you are saying can I have one Okay, but you're you're also saying, would it bother you? Is would you okay. mind is like a kind, right? Um, it's it's a kind way of saying, um, is it okay? Is it okay if you do this? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Okay, so yeah, that's what that means. So, uh, would you mind closing the door? Okay, is it okay if you do that? Would it bother you? Am I asking too much of you to do that? All right, it's the same thing with uh, with the with the Coca Cola. So Murat, he's going to the kitchen, okay, going to the refrigerator to take out a a Coca Cola, and and I would say, Murat, would you mind grabbing me a Coca Cola as well? All right, can you do that for me also? Is is what I'm asking. Okay, so would you mind? It's a great, uh, it's a great uh, uh, phrase as well to begin to begin off a sentence. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, we're going to move to three now. Okay. Oh yes, uh, and his answer. Of course not. Uh, we would say of course not because we're it we're answering. Would you mind? Of course not. Of course it would not not bother me of course it is okay okay of course not of course it doesn't do that okay very good all right any any other questions so far class nope okay let's go to uh, number three and let's see man I think took off so let's go to Esther and uh, Heba so uh, Esther, okay. So we are we're going to lend a hand. So you're going to see someone doing something, and you're going to offer help again. So Esther, you'll be person A, and Heba, you will be person B. Okay. Those boxes looks heavy. Can I give you a hand? I'm okay. You could hold 
the door for me is through the door. No problem. Can I take something for you? That's okay. They aren't as heavy as they look. Is there anything else I can do? Sure. You could open the trunk for my, of my car. Great. Okay. Um, all right. Can I give you a hand? Okay. Give instead of lend. Can I lend you a hand? Can I give you a hand? Great. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, you could hold the door open for me, though. Okay. So that's uh, extra information. Okay. I'm fine, but you could do this. So instead of saying, but, you could hold the door open for me. You could, ha you could add, though, at the end. Okay, and then we have no problem. I love this this phrase as well. Ah, no problem. Okay. Uh, okay, and uh, once you are once you are done helping someone, once you are done helping someone, so if they ask you to hold the door open, okay, it is customary to say, "Is there anything else I can do?" Okay, because. Uh, you don't just want to leave them there. They may be afraid to ask you for something else, right? Uh, so if there is anything else to do, okay, you always ask, um, is there anything else, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, and that, that's, you ask that after you are done helping them. There may not be anything else, there may be, okay, so when you are done doing the task, is there anything else I can do for you, okay? Now, if you are, um, if, uh, if someone has helped you, okay, they may ask that of you, okay? Your, your, your answers could be, nope, I'm okay, okay? Nope, I'm okay, and nope is just like saying no. Okay, but it's uh, it's not as straight. Okay, it's not as straightforward. We don't, we don't say no. I'm okay. No is really sh strong and really, uh, really uh, curt. Okay, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a word that uh, that we use kind of when we're angry. Okay, but if you say nope, that's kind of it's kind of friend. It's a friendly no. All right. It's so uh, nope, I'm okay. Cool. What's that? They're kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool, okay? It's kind of cool, all right. And and it's not as uh, as offensive. No can be offensive sometimes, all right. But if you say nope, all right, it's huh, it's a kind of a playful word. Hey, nope, I'm okay. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, everything is fine, okay. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Okay. In the sentences that um, uh, uh, he says, I'm okay, you could hold the door for me, though. Mm -hmm. Does it mean, uh, it's a word though, here, does it mean I'll be grateful for you if you, uh, help, or if you hold uh, the door for me? Uh, no, though means but. Okay, uh, though means but. You're adding extra information. I'm okay, but you could hold the door open. Okay, but we uh, we instead of saying but there, we add it to the end. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, you could hold the door open for me though. All right, yes. and so that's that's what the word that's what the word means. So it's uh, it's extra information, and it's kind of like uh, it's like almost asking a uh, a question there. Okay, you can hold the door open for me though. It's like, ah, this would really help me out. If that doesn't inconvenience you, okay, you can hold the door open for me though. Okay, that's how we would say that. But, okay, so it really does mean but. Uh, hmm? Sorry, sorry, teacher. What is the benefit hmm? of using Zo here? Uh, he really needs help. So, what is the benefit of using um, it's, Zo here? It's being polite. It's uh, it's the way to be polite. Yes. Okay. So um, in another in another example, um, if uh, if we're um, eating, okay, um, and uh, I'm 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 at your house or sorry, you're at my house and we've invited you over uh, to eat, 
okay, with uh, with the family, okay, and uh, and you finished your plate, okay, and I say, Heba, uh, would you like some more spaghetti? You could say, No, I'm full. Um, I would like another glass of water, though. Okay, yes. so you you don't need help, okay, but it's something extra that may uh, that may help you out. Okay, and you say I would I would like another glass of water though. Yes. Okay. So though though is connecting, it connects to okay, you're to uh, um, though you're not full, you may want something else. And so it's just a little bit extra and it's a polite way of asking for it. Okay? So instead, uh, instead of saying uh, uh, no, I'm full, give me some water. Okay? Give me some water would be impolite. All right, a polite way would be, I would like another glass of water, though. Okay, so that's that's how we use that word. We place it at the end. Okay, it connects information. All right, it's a, it's a additional information, and it is very polite. Uh, yes, teacher, um, asking uh, polite for another thing or uh, another help. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Thank okay. you, teacher. That's how we would say that. Very good. Nice question. Okay. Uh, excellent. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's scroll down. Okay, let's scroll down to page number two. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, complete these sentences here. Okay. Choosing, uh, choosing between the, uh, two, between different the two different words. Okay, let's go to okay, let's go to uh, Emre number uh, one, Emre? please. Number one, please. Number one, please. Uh, can I uh, can I ask you a favor? Excellent. Yes, we would say can. Can I ask you a favor? Great. Uh, number two. Uh, mm. Number two, Diego. Diego, Valencia, could, how are you? Could, there you are. Could you lend me a hand? Great. Yes, we would use the the base verb here, not the infinitive form. Okay, uh, but could, could you, you lend? Could you give me a hand? Yes, that as well. We can say, could you give me a hand or could you lend me a hand? Okay, very good. Okay. And... Okay. Uh, and here, um, you can say can. All right, can you lend me a hand? Can you give me a hand? But it is more polite to say could. Okay, uh, number three is for uh, Birhan, uh, Burhan. Uh, I wonder if you could help me. Great. I wonder if you could help me. Okay, and again, could is more polite than can. You can definitely say can here. If you can help me, can help me, okay? But could is more polite. All right? And again, we use the base the base verb help and not to help. Okay? Number 4. This is for Alexi. Alexi um, it's uh, it's coming through very scratchy. I can't I can't understand you very well. Okay, um, let me uh, let me go back up to the top to Murat. Uh, number four, please. Do you have a spare moment? Uh, uh, do. Yes. Okay. Do you have a spare moment? Okay. Now another way to say that is, can I have a spare moment? <laughs> All right, so um, uh, if you are uh, if you are asking someone, you can use those two words. Do you have a spare moment? And can so can I have a spare moment? And do you have a spare moment? Now, what would a spare moment mean? What does that mean, class? A spare moment. It means free time. Like free time. Yes. Yes, free time. Okay, spare moment, free time, okay, available time, okay. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times we, we would say, uh, do you have a sec? 
okay um, I put that in the chat box do you have a sec all right now what would sec mean second second Good. second yeah. great do you have a second all right do you have a sec okay that is very very uh, a, a very very common phrase that we would say hey dad do you have a sec okay we use that a lot Okay. Do you have a spare moment as well? It means the same thing. We're asking for a small portion of their time okay, to help out. And uh, we say that because we want to be respectful of their time. Okay. Sorry, Do you have a sec? Do you have a spare moment? Uh, there you are, Alexi. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Great. It show? sounds much... Uh, yes, I can. It sounds much better now. Uh, Alexi, let me have you read number five, please, right here. Um, I could use your help for a second. Good. I could use your help for a second. Again, base verb, use, and not infinitive, to use. We say, I could use your help for a second. Excellent. I could nice use job. your help for a second. Very, very good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. And again, we see the example of second here. Okay. Um, very nice. Okay. Um, let's see. Here are some, some others. Okay. That, uh, that I've talked about a little bit. Okay. Favor. All right. Uh, let me have uh, Mauricio. Mauricio, let me have you read uh, these three. Okay. These three. Um, this one, as well as the information in the box, please go ahead and read that out loud. Okay. Can I ask a favor? Can you do me a favor? I have a favor to ask you. Uh, sometimes people will say, I need a bigger favor. For example, I have a bigger favor to ask you. Okay, what, what is this? Uh, could, you, could you mow or could you mow or long? Why? We're away. It's very Good. difficult. Very it's hard. okay. Yeah, you're doing just fine. Okay. So a favor. Okay, that's a that's a, uh, asking for someone's help. Can I ask a favor? Can you do me a favor? I have a favor to ask of you or to ask you. Okay. Now, th those are all three are are used for asking for help. This is a very important one. If someone comes up to you and they say I need I need a big favor look out because it's not going to be something fun okay when in the United States we ask for a big favor it is never something fun okay Okay, and it's a, uh, it's not, uh, it's not like uh, asking for help is always the most enjoyable. Okay, maybe moving something or whatever. Big favors require time, time. Okay, time. Uh, sometimes money as well. Okay, and work. Okay, so. A big favor is not fun, okay? It's not fun. It's going to require time, money, and or work. Not all three of them. Sometimes it could be all three of them, all right? Uh, but, all right, we, we, when we say big favor, look out, okay? So here they said mowing the lawn, okay? Uh, who can tell me what mowing the lawn is? Look it up. Mowing the lawn. Okay. This is mowing the lawn. Okay. So uh, getting out the lawn mower. This here is the lawn mower. Uh, walking through someone's yard and cutting the grass. Okay, you'll have to empty the bag, okay, and then put the bag in the trash. Okay, it's usually very hot. Okay, usually very hot when uh, you have to mow the lawn. 
okay and it takes time all right so here he says I have a big favor to ask you okay what is it could you mow the lawn while could you mow our lawn while we're away okay we say big favor because it's not something fun mowing someone else's lawn is not fun okay it is terrible okay personally for me I don't like to do it I will do it but I don't like to okay so big favor those are that's something big it's gonna cost time sometimes money and work alright so be careful with that great uh, any questions about big favor or anything like that no nope. got it okay let's uh, let's roll okay so uh, we're going to uh, take turns um, asking for help now these are suggestions these are suggestions here on the uh, on the right so move boxes make dinner uh, read my writing look after my dog pick up my mail okay uh, these are suggestions all right now um, I, I want you to practice uh, using using these uh, using phrases okay um, you don't have to say these okay but okay you can come up with something that uh, something that you want okay something interesting or whatever but these are just suggestions so let's go through and we're going to practice asking for help okay uh, let's see let's start off with uh, Murat okay uh, Murat you can choose any of these five things or you can make up something on your own but uh, ask me for help go ahead and ask me for help Murat okay uh, let's go to Mauricio Mauricio let's practice asking for help ask me for help okay okay uh, teacher can can you help me uh, for move the box Okay. Could could you help me? Could you help me for okay. move boxes? All right. To move. So could you help me? Uh, or sorry, could you help me move these boxes? Okay. Can you help me uh, to move boxes? All right. So uh, so here uh, we wouldn't say uh, to move. I was I was incorrect. I was guiding you in the wrong way. So uh, we would say, could you help me move these boxes? Okay. Could you help me uh, move these boxes? Good. Just like that. Nice. Okay. Uh, Esther. Okay. Uh, you can choose one of these five or make one up. Okay. Ask me for help. Um, could could you help me make make dinner? Good. Could you help me make dinner w without D? Huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, without okay. without the D. Yep. It's going to be the base form. Make. No, I am not okay. uh, dinner. The, uh, dinner. The dinner. The dinner. No. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. Without the. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we don't say we, we we would not say make the dinner. It's make dinner. Make dinner. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Uh, Amre or Emre. Sorry. Uh, let me have you uh, uh, ask me for help. Okay. Now you don't have to say can you uh, ca or could you help me. Okay. You could say uh, may I ask a favor of you. Okay. Anything like that. But you can do whatever you like. Okay. Uh, could you uh, help uh, read my or read my writing? Okay. Good. Could you uh, could you help me uh, read my writing? Okay. So if you wrote uh, uh, some uh, a document or whatnot, yeah, definitely. Okay. I could help correct that. Can okay. I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, this sentence uh, maybe it can be. Uh, do you wanna help? For, uh, do you want me help? Uh, for, uh, sorry, do you want to help uh, for, for read my writing? Yeah, it can okay, be. Uh, did you say do you wanna? Yes, help. Uh, okay. Help, help uh, for read my writing. Is that, that is an 
it, it's an interesting way to say that. Okay, um, most of the time uh, you may hear that. You may hear people say, "Hey, um, do you want to do this for me?" Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do you wanna? Do you? It's an interesting way to ask help. Now, that would be that would be for friends and family. Okay, friends and family. Hey, um, do you want to help me uh, move my couch? Okay, so it, it's the same way. Okay, but it's for friends and family. Do you wanna? Okay, yes. um, and you're not really asking them if they want to. You're asking them if they can. Okay, if they're available to do that. But yes, you could do that. But uh, again, only with friends, friends and family. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, with your boss or with the coworkers or whatnot. Uh, that would be uh, um, that would be a, a harder a harder one for you to do. Okay, uh, to, a hard hard thing for you to say. Do you wanna? Okay, uh, but could it's the same the same thing as uh, is stating as stating. Uh, could you read my writing? Okay, could you help me uh, check my uh, my my writing things like that? Okay, but yes, do you wanna is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, another way to say that. Okay, very good, nice mm -hmm. comment. I like that. Okay, uh, Diego, are you there? Yes. All right, Diego. Uh, let me have you uh, practice uh, asking for help. Could you help me look after my dog? My dog. Good. Could you help me look after my dog? Excellent job. Okay. Uh, okay. How about uh, uh, how about uh, Alexi? Uh, let's have you practice asking for help. <clears throat> could you help me pick up my mail? Yeah, can, could you help me pick up my mail? Okay, excellent. Very good. All right, you guys, nice job. Um, let's uh, let's go down here, and we are going to practice um, saying uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't. This is when that other lesson we have comes in handy. Okay, making excuses. All right, so remember those things that we learned from the last class, making excuses. So, um Let's uh, let's take a look here. All right, uh, let's read through these uh, these top ones and let's go to Mauricio. Mauricio, let me have you read um, these uh, these comments about sorry. Okay, sorry. I wish I could, but I can't. Uh, at a reason, if you want to. I'm sorry. I buzz right now. Use this for and immediately request. I'm sorry, I'm not available. Use this for a uh, request in the future. Good. Okay, so um, I wish I could, but I can't. Okay, this is uh, this is a, a a great phrase to to use and have in your in your notebook of phrases. Okay, I wish I could, but I can't. All right, uh, because now. If you're going to give a reason or add a reason, okay, you would need to uh, you would need to use the word because. Okay, so that's that's how you if you're going to uh, continue and give a reason, okay, you would need to say because I wish I could but I can't because I have to go and do this, okay, or I have to do that. All right, uh, very good. So I'm sorry, I'm busy right now. That's for immediate requests. So something that someone is asking you to do right now. Okay, uh, very good. Let's uh, let's check this out. Okay, uh, let's go to Esther and uh, Emre. Yes, Esther. Uh, Esther, let me have you read person A, and Emre, you'll be uh, person B. Okay. Okay. Can I ask? Can I ask you a big favor? Sure. What is it? I need to borrow twenty dollars. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm broke. <laughs> Good. Good. All right. So remember, remember, class, what I said about big favors. They require time. They require money. All right, twenty dollars, and they require work. Okay. So look out when someone asks for a big favor. Okay. Uh, very good. Now, uh, broke, I'm broke. This means to have no money. No money. 
Okay, so um, it it does it does not mean that you are literally broke. You cannot pay your bills. Okay, it just may mean that uh, that you <coughs> excuse me. Okay, it just may mean that you may uh, not want to give them money right now. Okay, uh, or you could not have any money with you, or you don't want to spend money uh, on that particular thing. Okay, so that's how we use uh, broke. Okay, or I, I don't have a penny, or I don't have a dime. Okay, things like that. So I'm broke. Okay, very good. Uh, any questions? Any questions so far? Nope. Okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> oh, that's uh, that's our answer key. Uh, very good. So let's uh, let's go to favor to ask. Okay, let's uh, let's practice uh, saying saying sorry here. Okay, um, let's go to uh, Diego and uh, Alexi. Okay, okay. Um, so here. We're going yep. to, uh, you can, uh, um, okay, so uh, we're going to uh, say, uh, say yes, okay, what can I do for you, all right, and uh, you can use whatever, whatever word uh, that you want, we have words like sure, no problem, okay, yeah, okay, would okay. be another one, okay, and then uh, um, Diego, you'll have to make up what you need the person to do. All right, and then uh, and then uh, Alexi, uh, you're going to use one of these, one of these phrases up here to say uh, that you cannot. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and have Diego start. Go ahead and start off with uh, that first uh, first part. Okay. I have a favor to ask you. I have a favor to ask you. Sorry, I don't understand. I don't understand. I can't take part. Okay, okay. Uh, Alexi, do you see? Uh, okay, that, that's fine. If you if you don't want to, does anyone uh, want to participate here? Um, yes, me. Okay, Esther, let's uh, let's have you uh, jump in. Okay, go ahead and start that over, Diego. Okay, I have a favor to ask you. Um. Yes, of course. Uh, can uh, what can I do for you? Uh, I need you to help me um, look after my dad. Oh, sorry. I wish I could help, but I can't. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Good, good. Yes, I wish I could help, but I can't. Okay. Uh, you can say I I have an allergy. Uh, to dogs, okay, or or something like that. You can come up with a with a reason there. Okay, very good. Uh, let's uh, let's see, um, Emir. Oh, Emre. Sorry. Uh, would you like to participate here? Yes. Great. Um, let me have you be. Uh, um, let's see, Esther. Let me have you be uh, a me. So you're going to ask for the favor, and Emre. Uh, you are going to uh, practice saying uh, uh, sure or yes, and then you'll come up with an excuse, okay? All right, yes. go ahead, Esther. Okay. Um, I have a favor to ask you. Sure, sure. what is it? I need you to, to, make, uh, to make dinner. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So she needs you to make dinner. Um, uh, you could always, if you can, uh, cannot do that, you can always start off by saying sorry, sorry, and then you'll need to come up with a, a reason why. Okay. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, because I am work. Uh, must I must working? Work. Uh, say that one more time. I didn't get that. What? Uh, sorry, I I don't understand. Um, okay, uh, I didn't understand the the end of your of your sentence. So yes, you would say sorry. Um, I wish I could, but um, you can say uh, I'm busy right now, or I don't know how to make dinner, or you can say I'm a terrible cook. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, so so uh, any any one of those. I'm busy right now. Uh, I I I don't know how to cook very well, or I'm a terrible cook. All right, so uh, so try and say one of those. Yeah, uh, I terrible cook. I don't know. Okay, I'm a terrible <laughs> cook. Sorry, I wish I could help, but I'm a terrible cook. Yeah. No, that that's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, let's go to Mauricio. Mauricio, do you want to participate here? Okay. Very good. So, uh, Emre, yes. uh, let me have you uh, ask. Uh, you're going to read the parts that say me. You'll need to come up with uh, something that you want Mauricio to do. Okay. And Mauricio, your parts are the second parts. Okay. So, Emre, uh, please, uh, please continue. Uh, please start reading. Uh, I am a favor to ask you. Ah, okay, no problem. What can I do for you? Uh, I uh, I need you to uh, help for study. <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could help, but I I don't free time. I I busy. I very busy. Good. I don't have free time, or I'm very busy. Oh, thanks. Okay, don't worry about it. Good. Okay. Nice. And uh, let's go to um, uh, Mauricio. Uh, I'll have you ask uh, ask the uh, the uh, ask for help. Okay. And Diego, Diego, uh, I'll have you um, yes. say say yes, and then you'll come up with a reason why you cannot help. Okay. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Mauricio. Read me. Okay. I have a favor to ask you. Yes. Why not? What can I do for you? I need uh, you to study English. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wish I could help, but I'm so busy with my work. Good. Okay, thank you. Uh, don't worry about it. Excellent. Okay, great. Now, don't worry about it is a great phrase to use as well, you guys. Okay, don't worry about it. No problem. Mm -hmm. All right, very good, everybody. Um, I am just about out of time. Thank you for uh, for coming to class. Uh, I hope you were taking notes. Okay, this sheet is yours. You can uh, use it. Okay, uh, practice these different sayings when you're asking for help. Okay. All right, you guys. Okay. Uh,